Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about interface. Interface is a special type of class in Java that contains only abstract method. Abstract method is a method which has only method declaration but does not have method definition or body. So why do we need a class which has only method declaration? Interface serves as a blueprint or parent class to other classes. Every class that inherits from the interface must implement or provide definition to all the methods specified in the interface. Consider example of banking system. RBI and our government have defined certain rules for the banking system such as every bank must have features like credit and deposit money and should provide ATM cards for the user to withdraw the money. To implement this feature, we can create interface listing down all mandatory features. Every class inherits from the bank interface must compulsorily implement this feature. If they forgot to do so, then Java will throw an error. Now let's understand the syntax of interface. To declare interface with the name bank, we have to use interface keyword followed by name of interface. Defining the interface is similar to defining a normal class. For example, every bank should have credit and deposit feature. So we can declare this function in our interface. Only difference between class and interface is that class can have method declaration as well as method definition. But interface only has method declaration and interface doesn't have method definition. All the child class who will be inheriting from the interface has to provide definition for all this method. So every class inheriting from the bank interface must implement this method. If HDFC is inheriting from the bank class, then it's mandatory for HDFC class to implement the credit and deposit method. Otherwise, Java will throw an compile time error saying that inherited abstract method must be implemented. So if we want to use inheritance on a class, then we will use extend keyword. But if we want to create child class for any parent interface, then we have to use implements keyword. Now let's jump to Eclipse and run this code. So first, we have to create interface. To create an interface, we'll right click on package name, then click on new and then select interface. We will name our interface as RBI interface and now click on finish. As you can see, Eclipse has auto generated the syntax for creating interface, which is interface keyword followed by name of interface. Now here in body, we have to list down all the methods which we want child class to implement. So we will list down credit and deposit method. And now our interface is ready. So let's save it. Now let's create child class for this interface. For creating a child class, we will right click on package name, then select new and then class. We will name our class as child HDFC and then we will click on include public static void main. And now let's click on finish. So our class is ready. Now to make this class as a child class of RBI interface class, we will use implements keyword followed by name of a parent interface which is RBI interface. Now you can see that Java is giving us error saying that you must implement inherited abstract method which is credit and deposit. That means we have to write logic of these two methods which are defined as an abstract method in parent interface. So now let's define the logic of these two method. For now we will keep simple. We will only put print statement in both the method. For example, in credit method, we will print that credited amount is amount and then return the true which indicates that amount is credited successfully. Same thing in deposit, we will print that deposited amount is amount and then return true. Now we have to call this method in main method. So first we will create object of child HDFC class and then call credit method which indicates that 15 rupees are credited and now let's call deposit method which indicates that 10 rupees has been deposited. Now let's save this program and then run it. To run it we will click on this run icon. As you can see it says that credited amount is 15 and deposited amount is 10. So in this case RBI interface acted as a blueprint which says that all the child classes should implement credit and deposit method. In our case child class is HDFC. And if child class does not implement this method, then Java will give compile time error as code. Some points to remember about interfaces are, interface acts only as a parent class for other classes, which serves as a blueprint to other classes. Interface only contains static, constant and abstract method. The major difference between abstract class and interface is that abstract class can have non-abstract methods as well, while interface can have only abstract methods. We will see example of abstract class in future video. Interface are used to implement multiple inheritance in Java. We will see how we can implement multiple inheritance in next video. Fifth point is interface can have default implementation of this method. So child class can use this default implementation in their functionality. That's it for today's video. See you in next video.